Let's solve one previous question of general aptitude. This question was asked in GATE CS 2023 GA question number 9. f of x and g of y are function of x and y respectively and f of x equals to g of y for all real values of x and y. Which one of the following option is necessarily true for a x and y and four options are given. So for all x and y belongs to r, r means real number, f of x equals to g of y and it will be true for all x belongs to r map to some constant says c. At the same time for all y belongs to r map to the same constant is c. Let's see the diagram like this. Here x1, x2 up to xn. So f of x1 maps to some c, f of x2 maps to some c. So c is some arbitrarily constant. So f of x map to c, whereas g of y, like g of y1 map to c, g of y2 map to c, g of yn map to c. So f of x equals to f of y equals to c f of x equals to c and f of y is also c so means some constant then you can say f of x equals to f of y so here c belongs to set of r r is the real number which is the codomain of f here you can mark c is the codomain here this x are domain and c is the codomain similarly y belongs to r map to the same element c where c belongs to r. Here you can mark y map to same element c. c is some arbitrary constant. So here c is codomain of both f and g for function f and function g. In this way both domain and codomain of f and g are equal. x1 x2 up to xn map to c y1 y2 up to yn map to c. So you can say x1, x2 up to xn are equivalent to y1, y2 up to yn. Both domain and codomain are equal. That's why you can say for all x, y belongs to R, f of x equals to f of y equals to c, where c is some arbitrarily constant. Now check the option. In option b it's present f of x equals to g of y equals to some constant then you can say f of x equals to g of y answer is option b if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you